Gases and steam can be compressed. In fact, it is normal that when gas reaches the disc in a valve, it compresses and builds up before escaping through the valve. This compression can cause system pressure to build up rapidly. A liquid type relief valve doesn't open fast enough to relieve gas or steam pressure. In fact, its slower action can contribute to the pressure buildup. So a gas system requires a valve that will pop wide open under excess pressure. That's the principle behind a pressure safety valve, or PSV. Even though a safety valve relieves pressure more quickly than a relief valve, their design and components are very similar. The direct acting safety valve is made up of a casing, inlet, outlet, disc, seat, spindle, cap, and on some, a lifting lever. The safety valve assembly is protected by the casing, which is threaded or flanged for connection to the system. A cap covers the top of the assembly and reduces the chance of tampering with the valve setting. The disc is held in place until the system pressure increases to the point when the disc pops off the seat. The spindle guides the up and down motion of the disc. The adjusting screw is used to adjust the valve set point. If the spring tension changes over a period of time, certified personnel will reset the adjusting screw. The popping open of the safety valve is due to the design of the disc. There is a main surface of the disc which is always in contact with system pressure and a lip which is not exposed to system pressure. At the set point, the disc will lift off the seat. But what makes this valve different is that the lip then becomes exposed to the system pressure, creating a larger surface for the system pressure to press against. This large area makes for a larger lifting force and causes the valve to pop open. When the pressure drops to a safe level, the same operation happens in reverse. And because of the high velocity of the escaping gas, the valve must close quickly and completely. Otherwise, the high velocity can damage the surfaces of the valve opening. Damage is also prevented by a key feature of safety valve operation known as the huddling chamber. This chamber provides a small cushion that keeps the disc from slamming into the seat and damaging the valve. The pressure at which a valve opens all the way is called the popping pressure. The opposite, rapid closure of the valve, is called positive seating. The difference between the popping pressure and the positive seating is called blowdown. As an example, if popping pressure is 200 psi, and the positive seating pressure is 190 psi, the blowdown is 10 psi. Some safety valves have another special assembly not found in relief valves. The hand-operated lifting assembly. It's used for periodically testing the valve and does not move in the normal operation of the valve. But for testing, when the hand lever is lifted, the assembly pushes upward on the release nut. This action lifts the spindle and the disc.